I think for any new player, right, and a, a large, large, vast, huge majority of people who play this game would disagree, right? They all say like, oh yeah, just focus on the movement, focus on timings. And it's like, don't get me wrong. That advice is good advice, but that's not going to teach you how to play team deathmatch. It's not gonna teach you how to play deathmatch. And it's certainly not gonna let these new players have fun with the game. What's gonna let these players have fun with the game is just knowing when to use weapons and how to use weapons. That way they can actually get kills. And that way they can actually contribute to the team without needing to have some esoteric game knowledge that only the select few people that have played Quake for as long as they have know. Right? Like, not everyone is going to know item timings off the bat, right? That's how you learn as you play the game and get used to that. But also, I feel like it is more important for the person that is playing to be able to have fun and contribute in a way that doesn't require a large, a huge sum of, of games to, to figure out and understand how weapons work, right? Like, Rocket Launcher is pretty straightforward. It's when you start getting into weapons like Tribal and weapons like... Oh god, I'm done. See, like, there I had the wrong weapon on. But it's when you get into weapons like Tribal, and especially in TDM and DM, that's where it really happens the most, is you'll get a spawn right by Tribal, and you'll pick up that weapon, and you'll go like, Hey, where do I... or how do I use this? I want to get a kill with this. And they'll try to get a kill, and it just won't fucking work. <laughs> you know? It just will not work, because it's the Tribal. This gun is good. It is a good gun. Most people just do not know how to use this gun. And especially as a new player, right? Like I'm talking from that point of view, I'm talking about people who already know how to play the game, right? But they don't realize that Tribal isn't like a, for lack of a better word here, I'm going to use like main slayer, right? Uh, Tribal is not a main slaying weapon. It is very much rooted in chip damage and being able to do damage safely from afar, right? Like spamming doorways like this if someone's holding a rail or if someone's around a corner holding rockets, you use Tribal. Just because of its high damage output. And so it's things like that that players often new players will never 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 know how to use it off spawn right it's not like call of duty it's not like halo where there's a one size fits all weapon the best way i can describe quake to any new player to any new player ever is it is primarily 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 call of duty except instead of instead of having a one size fits all weapon it is a game where you have it split up into six, seven, eight different weapons, right? Depending on the title. Um, and so that's that's a big difference, right? It's learning to use those weapons effectively that will make you better at the game. Not so much worrying about red armor, mega armor, not so much about strafe jumping. Those are all things that come after learning the bare basic fundamentals of Quake, right? You have weapons, you have positioning. That at its core is what Quake is. And until you're good at that, you're not going to be able to focus on movement. You're not going to be able to focus on timing. You're not going to be able to focus on on, on um, improving, getting better, etc. I think that is where a lot of new players get caught up, right? And a lot of advice that is given a lot of the times is specific to duel, right? Because for the longest time... Quake has been a dual game since, what, Quake 3? Most people that play this game, actually, I shouldn't even say most, right? Because uh, realistically, most people don't play dual. But a lot of the advice that is given is passed down from pro players who pretty much exclusively play dual. And the problem with Quake Champions is that the most populated game mode in this game is Team Deathmatch, not dual. So a lot of the advice that is being given and thrown around is specific to Duel, not Team Deathmatch, and that's a problem. And I think that needs to be addressed, especially for new players, right? Like, Rafa was making movement guides for uh, Gianni's Fraggy Friday and all that. And it's like, that's great, 
and that's really useful, but it's not useful to a new player. And don't get me wrong, it is important, just not at the stage of a new player. It's like, for Call of Duty, it's about being able to pick up and play. For Quake, it's also the same thing. It's just, you have to realize that instead of, again, kind of circling around, right? Instead of having that one-size-fits-all weapon, it's split up into eight different fucking weapons. <laughs> and that's not an easy thing to get used to. And that's what game modes like UHT kind of introduce in terms of like problematic game modes is it's like a lot of people tell these new players to go play UHT. You'll learn how to use rail rocket and LG. I don't know why I blanked there for a second, but that's a problem because that doesn't teach you the other five weapons in the game, right? It doesn't teach you how to use shotgun. It doesn't teach you how to use MG, which those are objectively the easiest weapons to get into that aren't a major weapon, right? It's not part of the Trinity, but it doesn't teach you how to use tribal, right? It doesn't teach you how to use some of the starter weapons effectively, like nail gun. Sorry, not starter weapons. Um, some of the, the more spam heavy weapons like nail gun. And it's like, that that is what new players should be focusing on when playing Quake. It's like the movement is cool, the the rocket jumping, the the cross map railgun hits at fast like five hundred units per second, and that's that's still so. But it's like that doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things if you can't even figure out what weapon to use in what situation. That's why whenever we talk about this. Always my first advice is learn to position, right? Stay alive and learn what weapon does what and when to use it in what situation before you focus on anything else. I think that is the key to getting better at Quake Champions or any Quake.